Welcome back to Bloomberg News. We're at the World Economic Forum in Davos. I'm Ryan Chilcote, and we're talking Russia with a Russian billionaire, Rustam Tariko. He is Russia's uh, biggest issuer of credit cards. He also has a global vodka brand called Russian Standard. Joining us now to talk about it all, let's start by talking about uh, your vodka business. Uh, you know, we're coming out of the recession, the global recession. People drinking more vodka or less? <laughs> well, drinking stable. Uh, you know, everything which is good and high quality usually doesn't sell it much than all other products that just appear by the market. In, in quantitative terms, uh, what are you seeing? I know you sold uh, two million cases last year. Yeah, we're continuing to grow mostly because of international markets. We doubled our business uh, around the world. Russia was suffering a lot in the beginning of the year, but recovered by the end of the year uh, pretty well. So we're trading in Russia now minus 15, minus 20 percent. Minus 15, 20 percent. And the United States, what are you seeing? I know that's a market you just got into. Yeah, we doubled the business in the uh, United States. So United States was probably the best market for ourselves, regardless of the crisis there. We went pretty well, like uh, plus 50 percent in UK, plus 20 percent in Germany. We just gained 5 percent market share in Australia. So it went very well for us uh, during 2009. I want to talk to you. You have a bank. You're the biggest issuer of credit cards in Russia. Um, you do a lot of lending. Where are you right now in terms of lending? I know we, we spoke and you told me uh, a couple months ago, you were telling me at the worst in the crisis, you had reduced lending five-fold from, from the peak levels. Where are we now? We are more or less trading at 60 to 70 percent versus 2008. So beginning of the year was disastrous because people was panicking a lot with all this bad news about uh, oil prices, about Russian corporations. Then starting from September, they started to get back. But what's interesting probably, they are very much careful about what they are buying, regardless of the availability of the credit. So they are buying mostly products on sales. Doesn't matter if it costs three hundred dollars or thirty thousand dollars, and only after they apply for credit. So you, you started lending again. You're down just 40 percent from the peak, which is... Yeah, the situation is normalized practically in Russia. It will not be any more uh, just uh, irresponsible lending that it was like in 2008. But today we could say we're stable and uh, trading yeah. very well both sides. The, the deputy head of the Russian Central Bank, uh, Ulukhaev, Mr. Ulukhaev, says that he thinks uh, lending uh, in Russia will increase by 20 percent this year. What do you think about that? You know, I could not tell about the uh, entire banking industry. <laughs> so far, I'm very much focused on my consumer lending, and we were very conservative as a bank. So it may be. Usually, the central bank is giving pretty objective information. Russian stock market was very hot last year, third best performing market in the world, particularly the second half of the year was very good, right? A lot of uh, investors watching, wanting to know, you've got this unique insight into the Russian consumer. You know, everybody's expecting Russia to come out of the recession because of the oil price. Mm -hmm. But the consumer, are they strong? Is, is there a real, uh, can we look forward to a robust uh, recovery in Russia? I believe consumer behaved much better than corporations in Russia. Yeah. Uh, because it was not so leveraged like a corporation, as I mentioned. Uh, so that's why I believe uh, everything which relates to consumer will uh, further on go better and faster than everything which related to B2B, for example. Uh, just a, one quick more uh, vodka question. I know you want to get into China. China's the big growth story here. Uh, you're not in yet. You're, you're, you're trying to tiptoe your way in. Are you are you disappointed that you're missing out on this big opportunity, or is it just so challenging to, to set up there? You know, you could not be greedy. I analyzed very carefully what uh, China is, and I'm getting there. The only thing is I went to so many markets uh, in 2009, so wait for me maybe one year and I will be there too. Gotcha, gotcha. Any other markets that you, uh, you intend to get into this year? South America, which South is very America. interesting for me, like Argentina, Brazil. Yeah. Is on my map, <laughs> and, but I need to, first of all, take care of my existing markets, which I entertain. All right, we're going to have to leave it there. Rustam Tariko, thank you very much.